Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, a free site. Bettingangle.us, a free site. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now, tonight's Arthur Baturbia of Callum Smith fight was special until the end. Right? I understand what I'm going to say here is going to lose me some friends. Right? I want to recognize here that Baturbiev was having really one of the best performances of his career. It was particularly interesting to watch him after watching a young fighter, Christian Mbili, who's a short to mid-range hooker, uh, win a shootout fight against a game opponent, right? Now, that fight delivered for us. In fact, both fights delivered for us on, I think, I posted some members-only videos on this. But what I want people to do is to look at Baturbiev's performance versus Mbili. Baturbiev's performance in comparison to Callum Smith's performance. Baturbiev was winning every round. And unlike in Billy, again, a younger fighter who isn't at Baturbiev's level at this moment at least, Baturbiev operated with a cushion. Baturbiev was not in a rush. Baturbiev has an excellent jab that no one talks about. They do on this telecast, but no one talks about it because his punching power overshadows his boxing technique. And here he was, the man with the shorter reach, against a very game Callum Smith. And he was able to back Callum Smith up to the ropes to the point where Buddy McGurk, Smith's trainer, had to tell him, hey, stay off the ropes. Understand, Smith was the bigger man. I know they weighed roughly the same, but Smith is 6'3". And the jab was particularly interesting because Smith has a pretty good jab, but yet Baturbiev, with timing, was able to make his jab an issue. It's one of the punches of this fight. Now, Baturbiev looked great. He's outboxing Callum Smith. The bet I recommended, I thought, I still think, Smith by KO was the betting side of the play because they were giving you better than 8 to 1 odds. Right? I thought the hedge was the under 9.5 rounds, which delivered. I had a third bet on this fight. It was Baturbiev in the championship rounds. 10, 11, and 12. Well, just to understand, Baturbiev was looking good to the point where I was questioning whether he even wanted the knockout. In other words, Baturbiev wins at least the first five rounds of the fight. He is cruising. He's outboxing Callum Smith. It felt like I was watching a Joe Fraser where Baturbiev didn't look in a rush, but somehow against the slugger. He had the slugger backing up to the ropes. Folks, it was extremely impressive. I would say it's one of his best fights. Understand, he doesn't have a stretch where he looks this dominant for this long in the Anthony Yard fight. I personally felt he struggled in the Marcus Brown fight. The Joe Smith fight, I'm just naming some of his recent fights. The Joe Smith fight ends too early for you to have the sustained run that he has here. Here he has a former champ who's only lost to Canelo. A guy who's a slugger, a guy who's determined to throw hard hooks to Baturbiev's body. Right? Callum Smith is not a potted plant. He's in there thinking he's going to land his power shots. And Baturbiev is outboxing him. Anyone who feels that Baturbiev doesn't have elite boxing skills, 
just needs to compare his performance to Christian and Billy's, right? The fact that and Billy wears himself out by the middle of the fourth round. He's taking breathers, right? He's tired. He's also getting hit in the head. Baturbiev, by contrast, in his fight, has his guard up. You'll notice that when Callum Smith tries to tee off, Baturbiev has his hands up. He has very good defense. He has punch selection, right? This is the slugger who, you know, can hit you with a left hook to the body, can hit you with a wide right hand. He can make that right very wide to land on the side of your head. Now let's talk about what tainted the fight. Because folks, the fight is tainted in my eyes to the point where if I were running the sanctioning body, I would call this a no contest. I understand it was in Baturbiev's adopted backyard. He's in Montreal, spectacular boxing venue, the kind of venue where in Billy, when he wins, hops on the ropes and the fans are yelling with him. Right, great place for a fight. One of the best boxing venues, one of the best boxing towns on the globe. I understand they were celebrating. I understand Baturbiev was emotional after the fight. Let me also point out, too, that Callum Smith is in trouble. Right? Buddy McGirt tells him to stay off the ropes. Guess where Baturbiev has Callum Smith once again in the sequence that starts the downfall, that leads to Callum Smith hitting the canvas for the first time in his career, amateur or pro. Of course, even with the trainer's warning. Smith is back up on the ropes because McGirt, like Joe Fraser, like the fighters who you know, know how to cut off the ring and are confident enough where they don't even have to be in a rush to do it against a heavy puncher, a 6'3 guy fighting at 175. But while Smith's in trouble, understand, in my opinion, all of the punches have to be legal. Right now, I know many of you disagree with me whenever rules are involved. I know many of you disagree with me on the infamous punch in the Dubois-Usyk fight, right? That really has changed the heavyweight division if you think about it. Well, here you have a situation where Callum Smith is hurt. I'm not saying he's not hurt. Callum Smith is hurt. Baturbiev is giving really an A-level performance. He's having a spectacular fight. On my scorecard, he's won every round. Right? He's doing remarkably well. But as Callum Smith is hurt, Callum Smith leans his head down. It's a dramatic moment. Right? He leans his head down because he has one of boxing's hardest punchers in front of him, going in for the kill. So Callum Smith, also Smith's hurt. So Callum Smith moves his head down to cover up, right? And also to recover from some shots. It's a combination. And then Baturbiev leans in, and in my opinion, and in the comment section, if you disagree, tell us about it. Tell us what you saw. In my opinion, he hits Callum Smith in the back of the head. Folks, it's a rabbit punch. Right? Understand, Baturbiev already has a reputation for hitting you with borderline shots on the side of the head. Here, Smith has his head dipped. He doesn't dip his head into the punch. His head's dipped already. And Baturbiev comes in with a hard right hand. And in my opinion, it hits Callum Smith behind the ear. Folks, that's an illegal punch. It's such a hard punch, it puts Callum Smith down on the canvas for the first time in his career. 
in my opinion, it's such a hard punch that Callum Smith doesn't have an opportunity to recover, right? It's because he's been hit with that punch that he goes down the first time when he gets up. You could see that his legs are a little unsteady. Then he goes down a second time. Understand, if Baturbiev, when he comes over, saw that Callum Smith was turtled and only had the back of Callum Smith's head to hit, then he's been defensed. There's no circumstance, in my opinion, where that punch could be considered a legal punch. I encourage people to look at the slow motion replay. The shot again clearly hits Callum Smith where it shouldn't. Now I understand some people are going to say, well, Buddy McGirt hopped in the ring to stop the fight. Right? Well, Buddy hopped in the ring to stop the fight after his fighter was hit with a rabbit shot, was diminished, and was in grave danger. If you take away the rabbit shot, Buddy McGirt, in my opinion, would not have had to have hopped in the ring. I'm not saying. Now, keep in mind, I've revealed here that I had the under nine and a half rounds, that I had Baturbiev outside of that, winning in rounds 10 through 12, just to have Baturbiev for the entire fight and to have a bet structured where if either of these sluggers got a stoppage, I was good. Right? I'm not upset that Baturbi have got the stoppage. Certainly, either guy, in my opinion, could have gotten a stoppage here. That's what I was betting on. So I'm not upset that there was a stoppage in the fight. Right? The, the fight was good to me from a betting perspective. But the fight should be declared a no contest, folks, because... In a fight of this magnitude, champion against mandatory, in a fight where Callum Smith has never hit the canvas as an amateur or as a professional, in a fight where the replay is clear, the shot isn't borderline, in my opinion. The shot is almost all behind Callum Smith's ear. Folks, illegal punches are illegal punches. As good as Baturbi have looked, and he looked like an unbeaten champion. This fight should be a no contest. I'm not saying Callum Smith was winning. I'm sure part of Callum Smith is thinking, wow, he was kicking my butt. Right? Maybe Callum Smith is someplace right now thinking, wow, you know, this dude was better than I thought. But we as boxing fans have a set of rules for a reason. Just like Baturbiev in a fight where he's dominating an opponent couldn't decide to end the fight on a low blow. He can't decide to end this fight on a rabbit punch. Also, understand too, and let's be blunt here. Baturbiev has been a guy who hits the side of your head for several fights now. In fact, really, most of his pro career. The only way you're going to stop that is by enforcing the rules. This is the moment to do so. He had a hurt fighter in front of him. He leans forward. I'm sure we're going to hear some fanciful tale about how when he started to throw the punch, Callum Smith was upright, and then Callum Smith gave him the back of his head to make it an illegal punch. That's not what happened. If you believe Callum Smith is hurt when Baturbiev comes in for that final shot, the one right before the first knockdown, right, the punch that changes life, Well, just to understand, if you look at the replay and Baturbiev looks like he makes a decision to throw that right hand, and if that right hand lands behind K 
Callum Smith's ear. That's an illegal punch. All of the fruit that comes from that illegal punch, let me sound like a law school student here, all of the fruit that comes from that illegal punch needs to be tossed. Right? I'm not calling for an immediate rematch. What I am calling for is a no decision for this fight. That's the fight I saw. I thought Paterbiev was looking as good as I've seen him look. He was masterful. That short jab of his is incredible. Of course, Paterbiev is two-handed. Of course, he throws wicked hooks to your body. Of course, he has the capability to throw very short right hands, or if he wants, looping right hands that hit you to the side of the head. But if you make that decision to hit a guy on the side of the head and you're reckless with the punch and it strays to hit a guy in the back of the head, The fight needs to be called a no decision. Understand, the front of your head has more protection. The back of your head, it's just your skull and brain. Right? Too much risk is involved in allowing rabbit punches, even from real champions like him, Arthur Baturbiev. That's the fight I saw. Baturbiev was winning the fight. I believe it should be called a no contest. Um, let me hear from you. Tell us what fight you saw. Let me also say too, the guys who know how to cut off the ring, it's amazing how easy they make it look, isn't it? Right? Baturbiev is not in a rush. <laughs> right? Baturbiev has Callum Smith in front of him throwing punches. And Baturbiev is much more rested, much more cautious, hasn't pushed himself the way Christian and Billy did in the prior fight against Rohan Murdoch. Right? And Billy, by the way, France's best fighter, let me just say this diplomatically, he wants Canelo right now, right? He's fighting at 168. He wants Canelo. Be careful what you wish for. Right? Canelo is defensively blessed. Rohan Murdoch, who's a gamer? Who's a gamer? Right? We thought that fight was going to end by stoppage, and it did. Right? I think members only got rewarded there, too. But just understand, Rohan Murdoch is landing several headshots on Christian and Billy. I know the crowd is for Christian and Billy. We understand that. Right, folks, he has to overexert himself. He's not a fighter who has that gear that Baturbiev has, where he can have experienced fighters like Callum Smith backing away from him, putting themselves up against the ropes, cutting off the ring without breaking a sweat. That's how it looked to me. Right? And Billy, young guy, great athlete, one of boxing's best athletes, I believe he's going to have to figure out how to mix in more punches than the hooks he throws and the um, uppercuts he throws in a pocket-centric way. No ring coverage. Right? You, you contrast his offense with Baturbiev's offense, and here is Baturbiev doing more with less exertion against a much savvier opponent, right? Rohan Murdoch is just in there ringing sh uh, winging shots, right? Callum Smith actually has a method to his madness, where Callum Smith at 6'3 is landing some pretty good shots on Baturbiev's body while also protecting his head most of the time until the uh, last few sequences in the fight. Anyway, that's what I saw. Let me hear from you. I hope you leave your comments in the comment section of this video. I get that Paterbiev's a big name. He's clearly a huge draw in Montreal. Right? I get it. I get that he fought a masterful fight. But either we have rules or we don't. If you see the punch... 
that leads to Callum Smith hitting the canvas for the first time in his career. And if it makes you uneasy, if you see the punch and you say, wow, you know, that that looks like it's in the back of Callum Smith's head, then folks, it doesn't matter how well the rest of the fight went for Baturbiev. That's an illegal ending. This should be called a no contest. That's how I see it. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section of this YouTube video. Thanks for stopping by.